let's do an ls into it and we are going to find a file there okay now we have that done so what we are going to do next is to perform quality control so we are going to run fastqc to perform some analysis and then we are going to use multiqc to aggregate the results and then we can view using our browser so that's what we are going to do next so we are going to say fastqc and then we will say data slash star dot dot gz so let's run this command okay we can see fastqc has started performing the analysis so it will do the analysis for all the files so let's wait for fastqc to complete its work okay first qc has completed its work so let's check the output file so let's do an ls into data we are going to see some files here so for each first file we will have an html file and a zip file so as so we have them so that means we are going to have four pairs of files so we have html and zip for each of the first file files okay now we have four files here or let, let's just say um four samples let, so if you have lots of files if you run fast qc on lots of files okay then it can be cumbersome trying to open the reports one by one okay the reports can be found here in the html file here okay it can be cumbersome trying to open them one by one using your browser and then looking at the results so this is where multi qc comes in so MultiQC can be used to aggregate FastQC reports. So we are going to aggregate everything and then we will generate a single report and we can view that report using our browser. So this can help us to um, easily compare the files that uh, we want or the files of interest. So, so to aggregate the FastQC report using MultiQC, we will say MultiQC and then we will say data slash star underscore fast qc star i'll do this and then i'll execute the command so multi qc will automatically detect all the reports and then aggregate them for us so we have that done so it says it has found four reports and it has aggregated all of them so we can find the output here we have the reports and then the data so these are the two files. So we can check them out. So let's do an ls and we are going to find this file here, this HTML file and then this directory. So we are going to view this one here. This has all the reports. So let's do that using our browser. Okay, so this is the multi-QC reports. If you want to check the individual reports, you can find them in the data directory. So you can find them here. There are four of them. We are going to use the multi QC report because it has all the reports. So let's open this for using our browser. Okay, the report has been opened. So you can scroll through and then check the plots. Explanation for this report can be found on the Galaxy tutorial page. So when you are here, just go to the quality control section. So just check that section and then you'll find explanations here. Okay, so we have some plots here and then we have some statements here explaining what uh, these uh, plots are. So I will encourage you to read the document here, check the explanation, and this will help you to get a better understanding of your data, of the data, because we are using the data here. And you can transfer the knowledge to your data as well. So it's just a matter of um, applying what you have learned.